Hello and welcome to Paw Prints on the Mountain, brought to you by the Humane Society of the White Mountains. I'm your host, Mike Bosley. Coming up in just a couple moments, we're going to meet our lead kennel tech, that's Amber. And we're even going to meet a friend, and then we're going to talk about good, fun stuff. So that's coming up in just a couple moments, but first, it's time for Mike's Pet Peeves. <laughs> This is merely my opinion, not the opinion of the board, anybody important, just me hanging out talking to this camera. That's about what we do. Uh, once again, today's pet peeves is more kind of me venting, really, than anything. Um, I would like to know why it is that, so I've got a two and a half year old, micro machines all over the house. Not ever have I stepped on one. But for some reason, I seem to trip on the one millimeter high rug that we have right inside the front door. Can't understand it. I can walk throughout the house, not trip on anything. In fact, I have the balance of a baby seal, except trying to walk over that one stupid rug. Must have been made in China. I don't know. What I can't stand more than that is when people ask, are there volunteer opportunities in our community? I see this on Facebook all the time. Are you kidding me? Of course there's volunteer opportunities everywhere. Uh, come down to the Humane Society. Of course, we have our doghouse thrift shop. So if you've never been there, that is a great place. We're always looking for volunteers. And I know there's lots of people out there with retail experience. Uh, we'd love to hear and have your help. Also, there's all kinds of things. Maybe you're not a retail person. Maybe you're a hands-on person. Well, there's opportunities like walking the dogs. Uh, of course, there's always kennel work. And of course... Hello, Hello, Amber. Hi. How are you? Good. Welcome to the show again. Thank you. Thank you for being here all month. You're such a trooper. Thank you. And Comet, I'm sad to see you still here, but I want you to know <laughs> you're a lot better than some of my other guests I've had in the past, okay? <laughs> Just between me and you, buddy, you're doing great. So, Amber, tell us a little bit about uh, yourself and how long you've been at the Humane Society, real briefly. Um, so, I've been there about almost four years. Um, lead kennel tech there now. Um, work with the dogs and cats daily, cleaning and socializing and trying to find them their perfect forever home. So, you, you, you're in the job workforce and you're like, I could go work at McDonald's and make fries or I could go work at the Humane Society and pick up after dogs. Not a lot of people make that decision. <laughs> Why did you come work for the Humane Society? Um, I have a long uh, history in animal care. Okay. And I just prefer it over um, dealing with uh, people most of the time. <laughs> um, I know that customer service goes hand in hand, so I definitely can deal with the public. But mostly I like to educate them um, rather than have too much hands on with them. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. Now tell us a little bit about Comet. What kind of home are we trying to put him in? Uh, somebody that's very active. Now we know that he's a little shy, yes. uh, but he is at the same time a husky. A husky. Yes. So um, is he a talker? He can be a talker. He can be a um, talker. Especially when some of his good friends at the shelter get him started. Um, <laughs> he gets very excited very quickly. Okay. Um, but he is, for the most part, a pretty mellow dog, especially for being the breed that he is. Um, he still does enjoy playing a lot. He does his zoomies every day and loves to go on long walks, loves to play with other dogs. So he definitely would enjoy an active family um, that is patient with his personality. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, you are a gorgeous animal. Uh, Comet, I, you, I can't believe you're still with us. Hi, buddy. Yeah, now's the time <laughs> to get shy, huh? Yeah. It happens to the best <laughs> of us. We would like to welcome you. And of course, we'd also like to invite you. There is so many things going on at the Humane Society. Make, out, make sure and check out our website hswm.org. There is pictures of adoptable animals just like Comet. There's volunteer opportunities and then of course there's our ever-present fundraisers. We'd like to remind you Arizona Gives is coming up April 5th and 6th. It's a 48-hour giving period this year unlike the 24 
hours it's been in the past. And of course, as it's still kind of winter, we want you to know we are already planning Happy Tales and we can't wait for summer. But we're going to have to talk about that next week. We'll see you right here on Paw Prints on the Mountain, brought to you by the Humane Society of the White Mountains.